Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is OG and it has been around half a year since my last YouTube video. Yeah, there's been like a lot that's been kind of happening. Figured I'd try getting the YouTube channel going again. I do really miss co making content for you guys. I've been streaming a lot lately, so uh, yeah, make sure you guys check me out on Twitch. But yeah, I definitely want to get some YouTube content going and today we're going to be covering... So I did the RT mastery. It's actually my only mastery right now. I'm going to work on Spike next. Uh, just, you know, I got a Spike tattoo. Like, I, I got to get Spike at some point. But I did do the RT mastery uh, around a little over a month ago. And uh, yeah, we're going to be talking about that today. Before we get into today's video, I want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, Southern New Hampshire University. SNHU has one of the largest accredited nonprofit online degree offerings in the country. I'm going to be filling you guys in on their game development program. Personally, if I could create any video games, it would probably be a MOBA. I've been pretty obsessed with them for the past five years, obviously, uh, with Brawl Stars and other MOBAs too. But uh, my, some of my all-time favorite fan-made games are probably like the old Pokemon mods. I think there's a lot of really solid ones. and yeah, I, I'm looking to get into one or two of them in the near future. In this program, you learn how to create realistic, dynamic gameplay experiences with game AI, game physics, 2D and 3D graphics, and interface design. You'll also learn computer programming languages such as C++, C Sharp, and Java. And you'll learn 3D modeling and texturing with game art software. You'll learn how to research, develop, contribute to advances and trends within the fields of game programming, and courses are taught by faculty that have real-world experience. SNHU is very affordable, they have some of the lowest tuition rates in the nation. When you request information, a real person will hop on a call and discuss how the program can benefit you. Personally, it only takes one click to find your calling. Once again, thank you to SNHU for sponsoring today's video and uh, go check out the link in the description. So the reason why I chose RT is pretty straightforward. It was the newish brawler in the game or whatever. We had a tournament coming up, uh, the monthly finals, and nobody on my team really wanted to play it. Uh, it's like a long range brawler, but obviously like the super like makes it really hard to go in on. So it's a pretty unique brawler in that sense. But uh, yeah, like I always like sharpshooters, so I kind of took on the challenge of playing. We didn't even end up playing in the tournament, but I did end up completing the mastery. The push was pretty straightforward. I played with Zara's Dynamite, so it was a little hard to get star player and get the extra bonus having Zara's Dynamite on my team. You know, he's pretty nuts at it. But uh, I don't think we lost very many games. I did have to tilt down, I think like three times or something like that. So every day we would go, we had a team house in Vegas, if you guys didn't know. So I lived with like uh, Bobby and Zara for the past few months. Now I'm in Canada. But uh, yeah, me and Zara would go to the gym, tilt our brawlers down while we're at the gym, and then go home and push. And uh, yeah, it was a pretty straightforward push, honestly. Not a lot of losses besides like the showdown ones. For RT's strengths and weaknesses, I definitely noticed one thing, but it's definitely one of those all-around brawlers that you can pick pretty much into anything, like it's good into tanks, it's pretty good into range, it two-taps like a lot of the range. But uh, the main issue with RT is just that like the reload speed is so slow, I'm not sure if it's the slowest in the game, but it's definitely up there. So you gotta be like really careful. You can't use all your shots at once kind of thing, unless you're like hitting them all, but it is really hard to hit shots on RT compared to like other long range. Like the hitbox on a shot is very slim. So I think it's a brawler that you kind of have to like play for a while just to get used to the hitbox because it is much harder to hit shots on than like a Byron, a Piper, or something like that. So, uh, yeah, overall though, it is super... I, th I still think it's really strong. I think it's like top 15 right now. Just because it's so diverse. Um, and it's hard to counter RT, honestly. So, uh, yeah, I'd say just as long as you can hit your shots, there's not a lot that people can do into it. So, like I was just saying, RT is super well-rounded. So you can play it in almost every mode. Uh, I personally like it in Bounty just because you can pick it... Not like early, but if you're scared of getting ran down, you can go like RT or something and like they won't go like Carl or something into it, usually. Um, so I like it in Bounty the best. I think it's really good as a mid and gem carrier too, or a gem grab as well. And then the only mode where I'm not a huge fan of it, Knockout, it's really good as well. Because of the end game, you can use the other star power where you get your shield and speed if you want to use your mini form. But the only mode where I don't really recommend it in is Heist and... Like, if you get on safe, yeah, you can do a lot of damage with your super, but it's just, like, one of those things where it's so hard to do and you'll do it, like, every, like, handful of games. So, 
I don't think it's like unplayable in heist. It's just you're not gonna do any damage. You can play it to like kind of hold mid or something like that, help your lanes win. But uh, I would not like really recommend it as a damage dealer in heist. All right, so if you guys are wondering about what gadgets, star powers, and gears to use, it's super straightforward for RT. Uh, I think the first gadget that was like launched uh, right when the brawler came out is probably the worst gadget in the game. Like when I was doing my push, I was using that gadget for most of it, and I think I hit it like twice maybe, and I was like trying hard to hit it. So it's pretty much like you have to go in your super, go around someone, in between them you have to pop your gadget at like a perfect time. So do not buy that, do not waste your coins on that. I can't believe it's in the game honestly. There's a few gadgets where it's like that, but this is definitely one of them. Definitely use the hacks gadget where if you hit someone you can just detonate the mark. So it's really good for finishing kills, just keeping people low. and. Uh, I think it pairs really well with the star power that uh, enables the marks to last for three seconds longer. Let me just get the name. So it's called Quick Maths, and uh, yeah, that's kind of the combo I go to. Like I said earlier, I also use the shield uh, and like, all right, let me get the name. The recording star power, I use that one in knockout sometimes. I think it's pretty good for that. But uh, Quick Maths is just super well-rounded, and I think you can kind of pick, pick it everywhere. So I thought it would be fun if uh, you guys could see what RT is like at a high level. So I'm third in the world in Power League right now, and I got a game in with him earlier. All right, guys. So uh, first up, I'll just talk about the draft a little bit. So it's out to bring a fire, and like I said, RT is like super like well-rounded. So how the draft went was we first picked Amber, they went Gus and Penny. And uh, then I knew I had to go something that like couldn't get like hard countered by something to run it down. So I went RT and uh, my job right now, I want to be on the Carl. I'm just going to kind of like keep him at bay here and I'm doing a pretty good job. He got a gush shield, but uh, he couldn't really like push up too much. I hit two shots and uh, yeah, luckily I have a good teammate as well. So Frixie's doing his thing. So it's pretty boring, but as long as I can like chip the mid every now and then and uh, let Amber proc my mark, like it just did there, and just kind of keep the Carl at bay. So I will pop the gadget there just to stop him from regening. That's something that you guys can do as well. And if RT can ever get in a choke point like this, it's really good because it's very hard for him to go in. Because uh, I do have my super ready, but he does the right play and he goes for mid. But I do manage to take out Gus, and I probably should have just went and used my super there. The super is not very valuable on RT. Don't be afraid to ever use it if you're going to die, if you can get like a good hit off. Um, so yeah, the marks do go off in the little form as well as the big form. So we got to get the penny out of the grass here. And uh, yeah, so I do get a mark off, and that's going to make Frixie's fire uh, just kind of take him out there. Yeah, overall, we're definitely in control of this game right now, and he is going to go in. So, I definitely could have went and used my super there as well, but I felt like I didn't really need to, and there's always a risk that you don't get two hits. And if you don't get two hits back on your super, then you're pretty much not a brawler. You're just, like, you're not. So, you want to be really careful, and, uh, yeah, if it was the old RT there, I definitely could have killed him, but... There is like a cooldown on your attack in the close range Jackie form kind of. So I did get a good hit off. So it was definitely the right play. And like I said, the super is not very valuable. So I did a good job just hitting some shots on the Gus, Gus there. And uh, Frixie, again, he's playing really well. We want to keep Penny out of the grass if possible. And I will mark him just so he's one shot. And we can just kind of pinch him out, hopefully. So yeah, I'm going to get in the zone. And that was it. So I'm just going to talk about this one quickly and what went wrong. Um, so I think RT, like it can be kind of strong, but in mid, but it's like really hard to hit shots sometimes. So yeah, if you hit your shots, you'll win. And if you miss, you won't obviously. So Patchy's doing a good job. I'm just going to make sure we get some zone time and I'll keep him low. I should pop my gadget there. Definitely was a good place to pop my gadget, but uh, the squeak does pop it, and I'll get patchy there by popping the gadget. So, I think the issue with this game was Frixie stopped going mid. He thought I was going mid. It's power league, so it's hard to communicate with each other. But uh, yeah, I think Amber is definitely better mid, and RT is better on like a lane pinching mid. And 
I don't like yeah I think that was the main issue with this one so I, I don't really think like we need to go over this game too too much but pretty much we kept getting our matchups wrong as well and uh it was close I think we got it kind of close at the end but uh yeah we did lose this one okay so in this game we did figure out how to get our matchups better which you know it's not saying much they're pretty bad the second game we were all over the place but again it is like solo power league so i do get on the carl and uh he's gonna push into me here as well and i think i just managed to stay alive and i'm getting some good shots off i will detonate the gadget just so he's one shot and uh we're gonna try pinching him out so squeak gets a good shot there and uh i know he can kill me really easily so i'm just gonna back off he doesn't have super i can kind of just like walk up and get him but i'll kill patchy there as well which is why i didn't go in my little form or yeah my little form because oh all right so i almost one shot him there and he is still marked so it's a little unlucky um but overall this game's going really good so just the threat of going in your little form and being able to like shoot people from like everywhere on the map and like give mark is why i think rt is still a really strong brawler it did get pretty heavily nerfed but I think it's still in a good place. It's like more on the balance side. Definitely still one of the stronger brawlers though. It just does a ton of damage and it stops regen. And as you can see there, you pop the gadget just to make sure he doesn't regen. And uh, it's very well-rounded. I can't say anything else besides super well-rounded. Yeah, at this point, just uh, trying to keep the Carl at bay and he does get a gush shield. So I did get two shots, but the gush shield was unfortunately just too tanky. Uh, old RT definitely gets a kill there, and yeah, we just gotta get the Carl out here as well. I know he's around here somewhere, and uh, luckily the squeak helps me out. So I'm just gonna go in little form, and that's fine. We got the Carl out of the grass, and Prixie got a really good kill there as well. So that's all I really wanted to do there. It's really hard getting someone out of the grass there. The squeak gets a good super up as well, and I think he kills the Carl. So it's just like up to us to kind of hold mid here. And, uh, yeah, as long as I don't keep getting tapped up by Patchy, it should be fine. But I'm hitting some good shots back on him. Frixie, like I said, RT or something that can detonate the marks, like Gene, Amber, Tick, something like that, it's always really good. So, uh, yeah, just regening a little bit so we can just get mid here at the end. And just kind of timing it. There's no need to rush, really. And they're all one shot, so we're going to go in here and just secure the game. And, yeah. Kind of kind of close, but I was taking my time at the end. And yeah, I think that was pretty good. So my KD is not anything special, 5 and 8, but I do have like 90,000 damage, which is definitely more than 5 kills. But I think I did a pretty good job just kind of playing how uh, RT should play. So hopefully you guys learned something from that. But yeah, guys, I don't think RT has been the most popular mastery. As much as I do like masteries, they are a really big grind. And I think everyone wants like the best title, the best like profile, picture, icon, whatever it is from it. And RTs are pretty average. Like I said, the only reason why I did this was uh, just to kind of like practice the brawler because it was new in the game. I wanted to like use in the tournament, tournament potentially. Um, but yeah, RT, you get the watcher, you get like the little robot icon and I use the Watcher because it's my only one, but I am going to be grinding Spike. I got like 6k on it so far, so uh, we're definitely going to be getting the Spike one for you guys in a future video. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of catch up with you guys, put a video out, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for still watching after all this time. Every single one of you, appreciate it. Love you guys. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.